I chose software engineering because I knew pretty early on that I wanted to do that as a career, or at least I was very interested in it as a career. And so it was during my freshman year when they started rolling out the emphases for the first time and I saw that software engineering was an option. So I thought I would try it out and uh, see if it took me to uh, the place I wanted to go in my career and so far I think it has. I really enjoy the different labs that are a part of the emphasis. Right now I'm in CS202 and it has really helped me logistically think about what I'll really do in a typical day in my career and sort of have more work-related experience than just learning theory and code and whatnot. Software engineering is such a useful skill that's used in so many different places. Uh, I've used it in uh, personal projects, just things I want to do for fun. I've used it in a couple of different on-campus jobs, not just with computer science um, department, but right now, for example, I'm working with a math professor uh, with some web development things, and I've worked before with a physics professor on kind of a science application. I think a lot of our computer science students wonder which emphasis they should choose or if they should choose an emphasis at all. I think the, the obvious answer to that question is students who want to do software development as a career. So if they want to be a software engineer or even a software engineering manager all the way up to, to CTO, um, the software engineering emphasis is probably the right choice for them. Sometimes you don't know what you want to do and software engineering is going to give you a great base uh, no matter what. So if you're not exactly sure on what you want to do, I'd highly recommend it. It's going to give you those skills that you need to be successful, even if you figure out maybe a little later into your career what you want to focus on. I think it is worth pointing out also that the skills developed through the Software Engineering Emphasis program are valuable in many industries and in many domains where software is playing a larger and larger role all the time. Entertainment, health and fitness, banking and finance, etc. The Software Engineering Emphasis allows students to take the technical and intellectual tools provided to them by the computer science curriculum and apply them at scale in a variety of ways. Students will be able to operate in larger code bases with bigger teams and on projects with longer lifetimes. And they'll be able to manage deployments at greater geographic, even global scale. So when I was initially considering the software engineering emphasis, I looked at the required classes that you had to take and. Really, I just didn't have to take one class, and then they chose a couple of electives for me. So I thought that's all it would be. I would just get to add an extra line to my resume. Um, but that wasn't the case at all. The extra classes that I took and the path that they gave me by taking them really set me up um, for a successful co career as a software engineer. But the things that I learned in the emphasis were directly applicable. You know, sometimes even the same lines of code that I wrote in class, I could use at work that day. So the software engineering emphasis gives a student the opportunity to really focus on the craft of developing software. Our general computer science degree gives students an opportunity to try a variety of things that are all within the, the scope of computer science. But the software engineering emphasis is much more focused on software development. Another difference is that software engineering students take a series of one credit hour software engineering labs in which they learn about various tools and technologies that software engineers use in their daily work. Beyond that, software engineering students are also required to take a, a two semester senior capstone course in which they get a, an opportunity to build a software product for a real company or a real organization that's outside BYU usually and uh, they get to build an application for uh, an organization that they actually intend to use in production. Uh, so the capstone for me I think it's really valuable because it gives students kind of a free form more hands-off opportunity to really flex the skills they've been learning through their uh, degree. A lot of the school projects are very structured very kind of handholdy but the capstone is kind of cool because you get a ton of freedom a ton of freedom to make mis mistakes, a lot of, you got to make your own decisions and, and that can be good and that can be bad, but, but for us it's been a lot of fun to, to do trial and error, figure out what's working, what's not working, and, uh, and change things on the fly. So basically the point of our capstone project is to make a smart light bulb that can mimic the appearance of, of a small flame like a candle or a little oil lamp. Um, and our project owner wanted to build this project kind of to add a little bit of safety. Uh, to, to areas or people who wanted the ambiance of, of flame, flame light or candlelight, 
without the danger or the, the smoke or fire hazards or any of those things. And having the flexibility of, uh, of kind of a modern smart light bulb, being able to change the colors, being able to change the brightness, schedule things, group bulbs, all those kinds of things. Everything you do in the software engineering emphasis is really applicable to what you end up doing uh, in real life. And just from my personal experiences, working as a software engineer um, over the summer, there were a lot of things that I learned in a lot of the classes that I could just translate right into my work. The computer science program was excellent, but those extra classes that you got to take really made a really big difference in my career progression and the jobs that I was able to get because I had skills um, that nobody else had. So it made a very big difference in my career. 